You read about these things in the news and in big cities and in other states, but you would never imagine that these things are happening in the Texas heartland. It's concerning parents here at East Lake High School who say the sexually graphic nature of the book is inappropriate. Preschool segregated by the color of their hair. It was supposed to be a lesson on racism. I do believe that there is an effort to cut parents out of education. Parents at a Texas school district fighting back after being barred from attending a school board meeting. This is a violation of the Texas Open Meeting Act. Inappropriate books in school with crazy curriculum that popped up in our rural community. Big city problems exist in small town USA. No matter how conservative people say your community is or how conservative you think it is, it is still happening. And I can go to any school and I will show you what's happening there. Debate is heating up over whether or not Texas children should be allowed in drag events. Governor Greg Abbott is putting the pressure on Texas Association school boards tonight. He believes students are being exposed to porn at school. In Texas, it is against the law to expel children for fighting. And who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? This does seem fundamentally anti-Texan. Sadly, uh, the academics are really struggling right now. Only 19% of curriculum is at grade level. Only 30% of students can read at grade level. I have students with third grade educations in ninth grade. I had 18 year olds sitting in ninth grade reading class. My students turned to this life of crime to make ends meet. They didn't have the option to fill out a job application because they couldn't read. The school system in general is working against our kids, their academics, and their family values. Parents, they want their child to go to school and learn, not to be indoctrinated. The books are borderline pornographic, and in often instances, they are pornographic. The sexually graphic nature of the book is inappropriate. They were the worst porn that you've ever seen. He reached to take off her pants, but she started crying really hard. Your time is up. Thank you so much. And there is a, there's a child in our boardroom, so I'd like for you to please stop reading that. This is a book that I have really been advocating to get removed from our school. Within the pages of the book are sexual encounters of this man, and it is extremely graphic. We brought this to the attention of the teacher and administrators, and ultimately they felt like there was no wrongdoing in this being pushed to the students. Teachers often retain these books in their classrooms, and these teachers are not required to report what books they have in their classrooms to the parents. There's individuals who have agendas to brainwash our children. They're making kids feel like they have to identify as something that they're not. A very close friend of mine, his daughter was going to school and changing into clothes there, into more masculine clothes, and the teachers concealed this from him. Finally, my friend pulled his daughter from the school system, and when he did so, Child Protective Services were sent to his household. We actually were advised to not tell parents about their child's preferred names and pronouns if the child asked us not to. Our daughter was changing in the female facilities at our high school. A male suddenly walked in, started to change as well. The counselor told her, since you don't feel comfortable with the situation, what is it you can do to make yourself more at ease with it. We thought that was absolutely abuse. We put a lot of trust in our school district and those people, and they're breaking it left and right, and that's a problem. Another mom brought it to our attention that her daughter had been sexually abused in the bathroom, and that video and photographs were making their way around the school, and in fact, even a teacher brought it to the daughter's attention and counseled her on it and never let another adult know never called the parents, and no one who spread these, these pictures or video of her daughter ever had any consequences. These families who don't really have options other than public schools, they are trapped without the finances in order to get their kids into these alternative school programs. We must empower parents. They should be able to choose the education option that is best for their child. By giving the parent the power to choose the school that's best for their kid, you're automatically giving the parent more buy-in in their students' education. When this has been applied, great things have happened to the school districts. We believe that within a generation we can turn this around and, and we can lead the world again with our education system. Going to school should be a place of, of academics. 
giving the parents an option to, to have school choice, to, to choose a school that will better suit their children for safety or for the values and or for the education, it will make public schools do better. They have to do better. We demand it.